Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. It's time for another free giveaway. This is my podcast screen series. I've done two other free giveaways that are podcast screen layouts, and, and both only have two uh, screens or two floating windows in a screen. So I thought, Maybe it's time to do more. So in typical fashion, uh, I did a lot more. And I did square, I did wide, I did tall, I did lots. They're available for you to download. If you feel that they're valuable enough and you'd like to donate, I'd really appreciate that. You can do that on the same website. So let me show you how these are made up because some are essential graphics and some are using Photoshop frames. And the Photoshop frames use styles. We'll look at how to update those styles. So let's go have a look at it. So you have one up, two up, three up, four up, and they're easy to replace. Here's a couple of uh, videos right here. And I want to replace them right now. These are just static placeholder holder they're videos but they're they're obviously videos of images so here we have real videos and i'm going to replace them by holding the alt key on windows the option key on mac and dragging them in and now they play back pretty easy Now, one thing you have to remember is that I had to pick a size here, and uh, I picked 30 seconds. Obviously, if your video is longer than 30 seconds, once you um, alt or option drag it, you need to extend it because Premiere Pro doesn't automatically change the duration. So you drag them in, drag it out, and then you drag the graphics uh, out too. I'm going to give you a, 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 some of these frames and some of these backgrounds. I'm not sure how many. Honestly, the backgrounds are so easy to create now using something like uh, Adobe Firefly or even the latest Photoshop. You just type in office background, neon background, city background, and you get something that shows up. All right, so let's look at how these are laid out. So I have square and square PSD, Photoshop files. The square ones just use the essential graphics frame. So if you're not in to something very elaborate like bevel and boss and glow and all of that crazy stuff from Photoshop, the square ones just use a simple frame that you can change in the essential graphics. The PSDs are using Photoshop files. I did the same for tall, tall PSD, wide, and wide PSD. So all of these that you're looking at here are just using the essential graphics, and that's what's up here on the top on this frame here. I'm gonna delete all these uh, empty tracks just so it's easier to understand. So with that graphic selected in the essential graphics, you'll see all the frames here. You could do things like select them all, change the color. You could also change the roundness. Right now they've got a roundness of six. You can round them more, but you have to be careful that when you are rounding them, um, you gotta make sure that the corner of the graphic doesn't stick out because sometimes if you move these and make them too big, you can see it right there. Let me just zoom in. Right there, right there, right there, right there. So there is a limit to how much you can round these before the, the graphic starts peeking out. You could put masks on them too. I was not gonna do any of that. So. Just keep them at, I've got, the, the default setting I have is six for roundness and it does well. Like I said, you can change the color very easy. You could put another shadow on this, although the shadow will be in the center, which doesn't really make sense because each one of these graphics, if you go into the effects controls, each one, of, let me just do it to a, the one up. It's a little easier to see that guy. So there is a drop shadow on here. Turn that on or off. Cropping, if, if there is some cropping, and transform if your graphic needs to be changed. So the position here is for changing the overall size and the overall position 
Right now it's in the center, but if you needed to change what's inside the crop, that's what this transform is. Scale is at 100, you can drag that up. If, if the uh, um, video is not the right size, you can move this, don't move it too far because you'll see the edge, and you can move it down. Don't move the anchor point, which is really easy to do, change the position. So the bottom line is you can uh, finesse this all of my example placeholders are perfectly in the center, all around the same size. Obviously, if you've shot a little closer and a little further away, you might have to, to fix those. I, but I've given you transform and crop on every single one of these, so they're easy to change. All right, so those are the Photoshop uh, wides, or sorry, the, the uh, uh, essential graphics wides, and then you've got Photoshop wide. So this one is a little bit more elaborate. I only did one of these, but I will include it. Two up, and for this you can see a little bit of a bevel and an emboss, and whoop, let me zoom in. You know, these are the kind of things you can do in Photoshop. You can have that, that edge looking that way. Uh, which is a little bit more elaborate than just having um, a solid color. Here's some uh, neon, and here's some metal. So that's the wides, uh, very similar in the, the squares, one up, two up, three up, four up, squares with PSDs, And I decided to do tall. Um, I don't know if you'd ever do this, uh, but I thought I'll, I'll include them. So they're all uh, 1080 by 1920. Uh, so go nuts. Two up, three up, four up. Same thing also with PSDs. Uh, all right. Now let me show you how you can change these uh, Photoshop files. Uh, if we look at the graphic, although there's three Photoshop files, they're in the essential graphics. So they're not a Photoshop file on a layer. They're brought into the essential graphics. So there's more control there. Uh, this is square template number two. So if we go and look at square template number two, if I double click on it, that's it. If I right click on that, I can choose edit in Photoshop. It's going to open it in Photoshop. And you can see over here, I've got effects, bevel and emboss, inner shadow, satin, color. All of these came with a bunch of styles. There are thousands of styles, both free and paid. Uh, I'll put a few links. Uh, I'll, let me just show you some of the styles I was messing around with. So I make sure that this, this frame is selected and click on it, save, update, and you can see it updates now to those graphics. Go back, try a different one. Save, go back, and it updates. So that's powerful, but if you're using this frame in different layouts, it'll change everywhere. Uh, if you wanted it only in certain layouts, you'd have to export out a new Photoshop file and link it in there. What I would suggest, chances are you're not going to use all of these layouts. Once you get this and download it, open it up and then delete the ones you don't want and then resave it. So if you're only ever going to do stuff wide, get rid of everything else, save it wide, and, and that way you've got a little bit more control uh, over which Photoshop files are going on in here. And uh, you can also change the stroke in the appearance. Save, go back over here, and you can see it updates right there. 
So lot there's like I said, there's lots of, of free styles that you can play with, some great chrome uh, styles, and you can easily use those. So if you go to videorevealed.com slash shop, here's where you can donate if you feel like uh, you, you want to, and you'll be able to download them right from this screen. So like I said, there's, there's four wide PSD, four wide essential graphics, four tall, four tall PSD, four square PSD, and four square, lots of things to, uh, to use. And um, if you wanted to change these to, let me just uh, close all the rest. If you want to change this to 4K, select your sequence in the sequence settings, uh, change it to, make sure this is on, and change this to 3840 by 2160. And it changes the frame, uh, the background, forget about the background. Now when you option or alt drag and replace these, they'll be scaled correctly to 55%. So they will fill the frame correctly. You're just changing this template to be a 4K template. I didn't want to have to make 48 templates uh, with all of this stuff, but you can use this. And I've, I'll link to my other two templates and my split screens are on, on uh, videorevealed.com. You can reach out to me there. I don't read comments. It takes way too much time to go through comments, but I thought, hey, it's about time I gave you some free stuff, lots of wonderful screens here for you to mess around with. Like I said, use um, Firefly or Photoshop to make new backgrounds and uh, look around for some frames in Photoshop and I'm sure you're gonna have fun. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You wanna support us some more, you can do that as I showed you on videorevealed.com slash shop, donate once monthly. Thanks to all of our wonderful donors out there. We really do appreciate it. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to make, to take, uh, what did I take? Three days to make all this stuff. Take three days and give this to you for free.